This is the capital where you live, divided into two parts by the river, for convenience in managing the northern and southern parts of the city, and facilitating logistics, you decide to build a stone bridge. However, during the flood season, and ordinary stone bridges cannot withstand the impact of the floodwaters. Cleverly, you plan to drive stone piers into the riverbed to increase the bridge's weight and prevent it from being washed away by floods. Finally, the dry season arrives, but you discover the riverbed is filled with a large amount of sediment, making the foundation very unstable. Ingeniously, you drive tree roots and wooden piles into the riverbed, then build granite piers on top. You connect the stone blocks using dovetail tenons cast from pig iron, forming a solid underwater backbone. However, the turbulent river currents cause the piers to shift, so you design the upstream face of the piers with a sharp angle, cutting through the rapid flow like a blade, while the downstream face is built square to withstand water pressure. To further reduce the impact on the piers, you add a triangular iron pillar at the water dividing point. You connect the piers with arches using a longitudinal arch method, allowing each stone block to fit tightly together through gravity. This structure disperses the impact force across the arches, preventing collapse at any single point. Then, you lay blue stone slabs on top, chiseling dovetail grooves at the joints, and securing them with iron tenons. To aid drainage during rain, you build the bridge deck with a higher center and lower sides forming an arc. Finally, you add stone columns on both sides of the bridge deck, with carved stone lions on top to prevent pedestrians from falling and enhance the bridge's beauty. Congratulations, you have successfully built the Lugu Bridge.